here we are. Um, Gundlach says that we're in nosebleed territory on the S&P 500. The tech generals on the battlefield, he's using the battlefield analysis, their leadership is starting to fail. Are we in jolt territory? Are we in risk territory of the bolts of the equity market rally becoming undone? Hey, man, it's great to be here. Um, we're in the, territory that, in the territory that we had been talking about for some time. If you remember last time that we were on the program in July, the end of July, we talked about tech stocks probably being far too richly valued and being due to for pullback. And I think the pullback has finally come. I don't expect a collapse. This is a correction. But I think the key for investors is what's going to come next. And I feel that this is the start of a rotation of the market into more cyclical stocks. As you said, we got to nosebleed valuations in tech stocks. They were definitely discounting the growth rates that we saw during COVID going forward. Uh, in reality, once you start looking at the possibilities of earnings growth in second quarter and third quarter of next year, the comps become much more difficult and we will see uh, growth rates coming down. Whereas you have a swat of stocks out there more cyclical, which are benefiting from an improvement in the economic activity pickup, which have been underperforming significantly until now. And I think investors are going to start picking more from those stocks. Fabiana, good morning. So it's a correction, not a collapse. As you say, what's going to be interesting is when investors buy from here. What would you suggest? What names are you looking at? Um, so, Anne-Marie, we uh, generally don't talk about single stock names, but if you remember, we had been uh, discussing the fact that we had slowly starting to take profits, particularly from uh, IT stocks in the U.S. Uh, we like them. Clearly, the fundamentals are very strong. Uh, and we had started to put them, some of the money to work in more cyclical, particularly in industrials in the U.S., industrials and specialty materials in Europe. Uh, we particularly like the European markets because obviously they have lagged until now and there are a lot of cyclicals that actually where valuations really discount all the ills of the world. And we also continue to like North Asian stocks. So uh, we have put more money to work there. Fabiana, in terms of the, the rotation, when we talked to you in July, you came on and you said, listen, I am in that beginning of that rotation mode. Yesterday, BlackRock said to Amri and I, perhaps this whole narrative was a little bit overdone. In terms of the rotation into cyclical, where's your top pick in cyclical? Uh, we do like industrials at this point, uh, in, uh, particularly in Europe, specialty materials. Um, we actually have uh, continued to have a good weight in consumer staples, which we find much more uh, reasonably valued in uh, Europe than not in the U.S. So those sectors remain our, our top picks. Uh, the other thing that we have been doing, by the way, Manus, is not only a matter of sectors here. We've seen the same bifurcation that we see among sectors, also within the same sectors. And so a lot of times we've simply started taking profit from uh, the high flyers in one sector and putting it in companies that still had strong mm -hmm. fundamentals in the same sector, but have just been hurt to some extent. And maybe last but not least, we're increasing the sustainability profile of our strategies. I mean, sustainable mm -hmm. stocks, stocks with a strong environmental profile uh, are due to do far better in these markets.